10 hut hey. hi guys general splatten here today i want to show you uh some kickstarter stuff i've got i participated in the mantic quick starter and also the reaper quick starter i received the mantic stuff a long time ago or the first part of it which is the armies that they already had created i, I believe they shipped those out you know because they were already in stock so uh let's show you those i'm not going to show you all i got a whole army or whatever they considered an army these are the orc great axe figures there pretty bulky uh, nice sized very very well detailed cool cool models got a boatload of those I think uh, like 10 or 15 then also we have the these are the regular standard orc axe troops that you see there the different weapon options they have and uh, themselves right there and also get these two little or get uh, these little guys with it you could put on the bases and these are going to be on all the this little guy right here uh, it looks pretty cool. It'll be a little fun job to paint up. So I got all those. Then also that came with it were the cavalry troops. And I'm not going to open the bag just to, so I can keep them together. But they are look pretty easy to assemble and then uh, uh, very detailed as well. And then here's their riders and weapons. There's the weapons and then the riders for those. And it also came with the, I got two of these little small rule books. And it came with the Mantic map that you see here. And then of course the large book it's, uh, it's the hardbound edition pretty thick gives you the introduction the uh, fluff introduction to the uh, basic rules it has it how to play how to shoot attack then it has the uh, advanced rules here once you master the basics talks about terrain buildings uh, siege warfare running campaigns and then you get over half the book is army lists you know for the dwarfs the abyssal dwarfs the elves the undead the orcs and on and on and on so you see their kingdoms of men their models that go with the uh, most of the book is full color but you do have some really nice uh, line drawings as well illustrations then over toward the end gets over to the last portion about running tournaments and then the names of the people that participated in the uh, Kickstarter so there's that now one thing I do want to add, uh, mention and here's the uh, uh, basis for the uh, cavalry that you see there uh, cool basis one thing I wanted to ask is here's the bases that came with the orcs now this is one of the mantic undead that I have um, they're significantly bigger than the other now I'm, I was wondering as I bring this up did I get ogre bases or something or these are the actual size bases for the orcs I know they're uh, larger monsters uh, so but I was just wondering I mean the orcs will fit in the base but that's just a lot bigger than their other bases so I was wondering if a mistake had been made or these are the ones that are actually are so if anybody's got an uh, answer for that I would appreciate you telling me in the comments below and then also the dice really like the dice I like the uh, mantic emblem on them for the sixes that you see there so cool for the dice 
so um, wait, just wait for them to develop and create the other portions of the uh, Kickstarter stuff that's coming along. Now, here's the um, Mantic uh, miniature that I got yesterday in the mail. This is a Kickstarter Sophie that's exclusive to that participating in that Kickstarter. If, if you get to the level of participation where you get it, it's a metal miniature, as you see. Uh, there's all the pieces that come with it. It's on a motorcycle, so there's her motorcycle right there. And this is the forks. This little portion looks like a cross section for the handlebar actually comes out. That's part of the molding process that they didn't take off. Her hands are molded onto the um, uh, handlebars. I'm going to put this down and bring it back up. Here's the front tire. And this is goes together and assembled like this here where it just slides in to the uh, top so there'll be some gap filling and seam filling for that um, now she is here nice likeness of her you see eventually there we go pretty cool now one of the things is going to be I don't think painting is going to be all that big a deal but assembly is going to be a real challenge with this I think because she's going to go in here like that and since you've got to line up you know the the front tire with the uh, forks and then attach it to the uh, main portion of the bike and then also have her hands all line up so that they all come together in the correct way I think that's just going to be a whoo <laughs> Uh, a real challenge uh, getting it attached to the bike at the right angle and then having her hands get into the uh, correct position that they're supposed to be and that's going to be a, a booger now one really thing I'm pleased great thing I'm pleased about is her wings they fit very nicely into the back of the uh, miniature uh, not a lot of gap filling I'm going to do because her hair spills around her wings so you know there would be kind of gaps and things like that so uh, and then the other wing as well here they do fit very very nicely really and snugly really pleased with how they're going to look that's going to be uh, real easy to do there and then obviously to, to paint her up one thing I will mention about this is this is an exclusive miniature but I'm sure I don't know how many they needed to make, but several thousand, at least 10,000, I'm sure. Uh, a lot of mold lines on uh, these, you know, being a, a new mold, uh, I don't know the life expectancy of uh, metal miniature molds, but I was just surprised by, you know, it being uh, an exclusive miniature, but even though it is a, you know, at least a 10,000 run, uh, maybe I got one of the uh, really later models that was uh, cast. A lot of mold lines, uh, not much flash, little, but uh, mold lines are pretty significant in areas. So I was surprised by that. I don't, but maybe I shouldn't have been. But overall, a really cool model, and I'm looking forward to uh, painting it up. Well, um, anybody got any questions or comments? Uh, and I'd entertain them, especially about the uh, basis for the orcs. If I got the right ones, I'm thinking I did, but I, I want to kind of confirm that. So, that's what I got in the mail so far. Got any thoughts? Leave them below. This is General Splatton, and I'll talk again. Dismissed.